Well, hey, folks, down in the shop, uh, I'm pretty excited. Got the first phase, my phase, of uh, refinishing and rebuilding the Buffalo, 1950s Buffalo Forge Broil Air Grill. Folks, I found out some more information, uh, reading some blogs and that from uh, ba basically Buffalo, New York. People that do a little historian work and are keeping track of the Buffalo Forge stuff. There was a big company's biggest employer at one point in Buffalo, uh, in Buffalo, New York. Uh, the, the, one of the ex-retired uh, CEOs of, of Buffalo Forge stated that they only made between 500 and 1,000 of these broiler errors, and there were a couple different uh, versions of it, and uh, we're fortunate enough that we've got one, and we're doing a full restoration on it. Give you some, give you a look, see some of the steps we get up to this point, and then um, I'll run down everything in the end. Take a look. All right, so, and there's the heat shield. This is ready for paint. A lot of effort for this one. The back wasn't bad uh, when it came to rust and, and pitting, but the front was, and I ended up breaking out uh, the bower with uh, uh, one of these flap discs on their 60 grit. And this took a lot of effort, but got all the rust off and got it down to some good bare metal. I have been using uh, my Makito with uh, that in there, with the wire brush in there. And I've got this plastic one too. So I've got a process going on here in order to do it. And th this is ready for paint. Now this, when you looked at it before, how I got it was that green. Now I've looked, had done a bunch of history search on this and the majority I see this is painted black and I'm gonna stick with that. I think it would only make sense that if you're using something that's gonna shield you from the heat, but also is going to be sparks from the, you know, charcoal when you're blowing the air through there, uh, that this should be black. So we're gonna paint this black and uh, we'll give you a look, see, just I'm getting close to the end of what I would call the first phase. So we'll give you a look-see at everything that I've done in the first phase coming up next. All right, so if you're wondering, <laughs> the second phase is going to be disassembling the bowl, the legs, the wheels. Uh, this is where the uh, blower fits on right here, and then it blows up through there. And taking all that bar apart, start cleaning it, trying to get it um, as good as I can get it to uh, uh, painting. And then we'll, we're going to stick with the colors that are on there. The wheels are going to be the only thing that's going to be a challenge, I think, in this. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about the paint. You, I think I've talked about this before. And like I said, I'm leaving some of the other videos. Uh, and I struggled getting this paint. I searched and searched the world over. And uh, the paint that I found that was the closest is this iron lac. And you picked this up at Hobby Lobby of all places. And it was just out of a whim that I decided to check out Hobby Lobby. And lo and behold, they had it. Now, what I didn't realize is that even though this is the color of right there, when I went to buy more paint, and that's it right there because you usually can't take spray paint back, the uh, same skew and the same color is now that color. It's darker green. So I've been searching the world over, and I've had a, a very good friend that went up, uh, lives about an hour from here, and uh, she was able to find one can for me. So I, I think I'm good. I've got uh, three full ones and one partial, or that one's empty, and uh, I, I think we'll be good for paint. <laughs> Let's, I, I, tell, I tell you what, this thing has been full of challenges, but I, I, I've enjoyed every, every bit along the way. Let's take a final look. All right, so I can't be happier with the way things turned out. Uh, in one of the other videos, I showed you how I took this apart, got down to the gears. I took all the grease out of there, put new uh, new grease in there. Uh, now, the original did not have the raised lettering painted, but you just you have to do that. It just looks so much more better uh, with the raised painting. And uh, the handle did not come off. And uh, I had to get very creative with the belt sander in order to spin it to get this down to the maple. And even though it's a little pitted in there, uh, I did give it a couple coats of Danish oil. Took that totally apart, got that cleaned up on the inside. I, I think I showed you one of the other ones where there was some rust in there and I uh, even painted that was, the spinner was red and, and everything, everything works. And even the handle when I was stripping it, I noticed that the handle was red. So I, I'm really happy with the way this turned out. The um, the table, I, had to, I actually had to bend some metal back and get it, and I got it, I got it looking pretty good. So I'm happy with it. The arms, too, are bent, and uh, they're not laser straight, but they're straighter than what they were. And even the square nuts and everything, which really tells the age there. So I don't know. I, right, right now, I probably have probably four or five hours into this 
maybe even a little bit more. Uh, the sanding and the stripping took obviously the longest and then figuring this thing out but like i said everything came apart real cool so i'm i'm hopeful that the rest of that comes comes apart i hope you're enjoying this if, if you'd like to see more of this like i said uh this is i don't know what i'm gonna do with it when it's done it's gonna sit down here in the basement in in the land of grills but um i'll find some place for it eventually um if you enjoy what you're seeing don't if you want to support the channel super thanks down below and hey if you're wondering about the grill grate i i haven't started yet but uh I've got it sitting, I found a, that's actually a pan for a pot, and it, there's no hole in the bottom, and I've got some evac bowl rust. That stuff right there, and it's, they swear it, it works, it's non-toxic and all that stuff, so we're gonna try evac bowl rust on the grill grate and see if we can't restore that too. Tom Horseman at YouTube, don't forget to subscribe. There'll be more of this coming up soon. Thanks for watching, folks.